So with five games left to play, we have eight points clear. But as you can see from the fixtures here, we've got a lot of the hardest running. Tasmania Berlin, we've got fourth place Berliner playing today. We've actually got a double header against them because we're playing them in the Berlin Lander Spoko as well, semi final. And then we've got the Australia 17th, which is fair enough, we should beat them. Madsburg, who are 8th place, who are a very good side, Madsburg 2nd team. Jera, who are also a very good side and should be down in 12th, and then Ertford, who are 3rd. I think the press have been a little bit kind to say that Ertford are still in the promotion race, because they, they probably aren't. Uh, Chimnitz are who have had their two hardest games, and they've got a draw and a loss. Ertford beat them. They've got all the sides that are sitting in the bottom half of the table that aren't very good. <laughs> And, yeah, we're not worrying about Ertford. They play us at the end of the season, but we're going to be out of it. So, I don't know what to do today. I don't know whether I'm going to go all out and uh, try and win the league game and try and guarantee promotion, or whether I'm going to mix it up a little bit and then for the game against them in the Cup, we'll um, try and go for that because that's the backup. Because if we don't win promotion, it's going to give us money to try and build for next season. But, and uh, if we don't, if we do win promotion, then we don't need to win it because we'll get into the German Cup anyway and get that money. Hi guys, Chris here from Straight Red Card Gaming and welcome back to episode 83 of Project Bundesliga, that Football Manager 2019 save where we tried to take Tasmania Berlin all the way from the Berlin Liga Division 6 all the way back up to the Bundesliga and try and beat the grand total of 8 points that they got in the 65-66 season where they broke all the records for all the wrong reasons. And yeah, exciting. As, as I said in the opener, we've got 5 points, yeah, five points, 5 games, 8 points clear. We can afford to slip up, but we don't want to slip up. We've got Berliner AK, who are fourth. And I don't think they're completely out of, a, they're out of the title race, because there's 12 points to... No, it'd be 15 points to clear, so they're still in the title race. So if they beat us, they'll stay in the title race. We're also playing them in the Berlin Lander Spoko on Wednesday. So, yeah, this gives me a conundrum, because I don't know what to... I think we have to go all out here, because... The Berlin Lander Spoko doesn't matter if we get the get the win here because that will take us to 12 points for 8 games. We just have to accept that Chemnitz are not going to slip up at all. They've got easy games and they're going to do well. Let's get Yuzi Dyski on the bench because a big moment like this needs the Yuzi Dyski master. Not going to spring any changes. Can can do us. I quite like him in midfield. Controlling things. His passing range is better than the rest. He's not going to be here next season. He's on a huge wage, but I do like. I do bit like a bit. His passing's next to him. He gets like eighty-eight percent passing completion every every game, which is fantastic. The defence picks itself. Crash the Kai Bunque, Sirius, Bayman, Kiabumbo. And then in the midfield, you've got the one-man yellow card machine trap. And Danzer, who came onto a game after throwing away the, the goals against um, his parent club, Ingolstadt. And then Bayezit, Abrel, and then Metman's going to play up front. And it's not great how playing a, a striker that's only got six finishing, but he's the best in a bad bunch. He's got a seven point two three and I'm trying to shoehorn him into the side. Nobody else has been fantastic. User Dowski scored seven and Beazit scored seven, but he's has been better on this left wing than he has up front. Every time I try and stick somebody up front, they just don't do it anymore. So User Dowski's that option from the bench. Moore's just been absolutely disgusting this season. Three goals. He had a sixteen goal season last season, so I don't know what's went wrong with him. Let's go for it. Fingers crossed. Berlin are a good side. So, and they're also our local rivals, so it'd be nice to get one up on them here. 
good on going and impress me. Never a good idea to say nothing, assistant manager. Because it just, nothing goes green, nothing happens. But yeah, our running's a lot harder than Chemnitz, so Chemnitz have got all their hard games, although we've got eight points on the board. I've got a funny feeling it could get to squeaky bomb time again. Right, come on guys, let's demand more. Part of me was thinking that maybe I could just go all defensive, try and pick up a point. But the whole point of this team is it is defensive anyway. You know, it's previous football managers have always built a side that can score more than the, the other team, but and the Chemnitz have went 1 0 up. But this has been built on the defensive. Oh, come on. Yeah, this, this, is, this has definitely been built on the back of defensive players, though. In fact, I don't I'll whisper it, but our attackers aren't that good. So yeah, I've enjoyed this season. With, in terms of the club we're on, we're probably not the best team in the league. Chemnitz are, Ertford are better than us. The full-time teams are all better, so let's have a look at the scores. Ertford are winning. Yeah, we're all keeping up the pressure. Let's go for it. If always keep it up. Wide to bump. I know no draw's not good enough, but it's been eight points clear to get a point here today. It would keep it to six, but Kevin, its goal differences are far superior, so it's like an extra point. So not a lot of greens there. Demand more. Been booked. Bev has been booked to a grafter. Oh, we've got a baller. Head out. That's it. Oh, and Bev with a ball. Straight to Trap, who's injured. I never realised Trap's injured. He'll have to come off. Abel. Oh, is that the goal from the captain that could send us up to the, the league? This could be the most important goal he's ever scored. Great work from Jerome Trapp, over the top, these two boys haven't signed any new contracts this season at all. So, but they're all, all agreeable and they're all going to take less of what we're already on, so let's make a sub, let's get Trapp off because he's 59. Right, Donner or Rosila, get Rosila on, and maybe it's not been good, anybody I'm playing up front we get. Muller or Yuzadowski. Let's go Yuzadowski. Let's treat ourselves to Yuzadowski cameo. Right, let's go back to defensive. Let's hold on to it. Let's make them come at us. There we go. Dan's up. Got time. A man right there, that's it, from Gart. Dan's up. Cadeus, Dan's up. Cadeus. From Gart, don't lose it. Oh, look at this. Over the top, use a dice key. Oh! That would have been amazing. If you use a dice key, I'd put one hand on the on the trophy for us. Right, let's make a sub, let's try and waste some time. Who's coming off? Um, everyone else is playing reasonably well. I think it has to be whoever got on the bench. Oh, he's not got much time. Let's get fires it off for him. Trust the guy, don't do anything silly over the top. It's Tafel Shooter. Oh, come on. 
どうどうどうどうどうはい、ユーザー大好きです。I don't know what to say. I do not know what to say. It's the blow whistle referee. It's over. That is frustrating. I'd have been happy with a point, but not that way. Not in the 93rd minute. Anyway, I'm going to go angry. I'm not going to say I did well. Angry with that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh dear. Just out of six points now. Could have stayed at eight. We would have had one hand in the trophy. I can see us throwing this away again. I'm getting flashbacks from a few seasons ago. Right, we're back for the next Bellator game where we have to win. Right, so we're back for the second part of the double header against Bellator AK. And not much changing. We're just going to go much, much and much. This user dice is coming back in because nobody else can play up front. Arnott's going to take his place in the Midfield, we say Cardias and Dan eh, Danza. Midfield pick the eh, defence picks itself. Rosilla is going to come in for Bem. Just needs a wee rest, and we're going to go for it. That's it. We're just going to have to hope that we we get the result. I don't have a good feeling about this. Team talk. Aggressive, expect nothing from a win, just do it. I just don't want to lose this and then go on a, a losing streak because that's usually what happens, especially when you're touching distance to a title and a cup double, a, a historic double. So, yeah. But we're an AK a, a decent side, so I should be too upset. Man more, go for it. But he use a dice use a dice to a pressing forward roll, he loves that, so just not sure I trust anybody else up front. And that's the most frustrating thing, apart from Yuzadowski in that first season, we've not really had anybody that's battered to go, oh, Yuzadowski, just talk about the man and he pops up with one. Apart from how in the first season, we've not really had anybody that's broken the 20 goal mark since. He's came close a couple of times, Yuzadowski, but the former Yuzadowski probably kept everybody else out. That's lovely. That's our note. I had high hopes for Muller, but he's just looks like he can't play football this season. He's not going to be with us next season because I just I didn't like him anymore. <laughs> Don't get complacent, but don't look stressed. <laughs> yeah. Shouts, Van Moore. The two guys that I was trying to shout for hasn't changed them at all. They're both apprehensive, Kea Bumbo and Amrel. Kea Bumbo. Pause. 
tactics set piece K because I thought Arnold would be on that. There we go. I changed all this. Arnold should be on both sides. I have no idea why it's been removed. There we go, use a dice gate. He's rolling back the years today. Yes! Why is it? And he does a roly poly. He's a fat boy. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Use the dice key is. Cutting back the years, he's trying to show me he deserves to be in the third division. <laughs> right, praise. Doing well, they're fired up now. And Candace is about dying, so we'll make a sub. Bem, Cardias. Everyone else, we've got seven days to the next game, so we should all get a rest. Um, Umbrell's not playing well, but he's a captain, so we'll keep him on just now. Oh, is it? Oh, come on, that was. Bye bye. That makes it easier. <laughs> it changes. Robin, a couple of that B doesn't mean that, does it? It means something strange. I can't remember. It's not a B anyway. Right, let's make a sub. Oh, I don't want to take Bem off when he's already came off. Um, Genius is struggling. So start, save, on you go. Dan's are struggling. We'll have a wee book of telly cameo. <laughs> I went too up front, but a little bit too late. Maloney. Taffo Schnotter. Oh. That was a professional performance, but I prefer to have done it in the league game. Very well done. That is it. We will be... And, oh, boost your tennis bell in. Who we actually hammered last season in this competition. And yeah, that's what we'll look at the schedule. The Australia's next and then Madge Burst. We'll come back for those two games. This is the plan. If we haven't won the title by those two, which we won't have because there's six points and uh, I, well, I've lost the train of thought. Six points and 12 to play for. So we won't have won the league by then. And we won't be out of it. Then we'll play on Jenna and the Lander Spoke final and then we'll come back for Ertford on its own. But we'll play that by you. So I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed it, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.